Okay, we're rolling. All right, this is a home interview, Penyan, New York. It is the 29th of November, 2006, approximately 9 a.m. Interviewers are Mike Russell and Wayne Clark. Could you give me your full name, date of birth, and place of birth, please? Full name is Robert A. Jensen. Place of birth? Yes, sir. I really don't know how to answer that. <coughs> New York City, really. I was I was an orphan. Oh, okay. so I, I was born in New York City. And, and when were you born? To? 19, uh, 1926. Okay. May 24th, 1926. All right. What was your educational background prior to entering service? High school. Okay. Do you remember where you were when you heard about Pearl Harbor? Yep. The living room on the floor. You must have heard it on the radio? Yeah. Okay. What was your reaction when you heard about it? I don't know that I can answer that. I, <coughs> it didn't really sink in, you know. You, you were just a kid. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't think it really sunk in. Did you even know where Pearl Harbor was? No. Yeah, oh. yeah, most people didn't. Okay. How, uh, how did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. Now, were you uh, drafted or did you enlist? I enlisted. Why did you decide to enlist? Because I wanted to go. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to go in the Army. So that's why you picked the Navy? Sure. Okay. I was a smart one. <laughs> Where did you go for your uh, basic training? Right across the lake. I could see home. Samson. Okay. Um, when you got to Samson in 43, must it was probably pretty well set up by then. Yeah. All the buildings were yeah, up and so most of, Yeah, they were. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what was it like at Samson? Your, what was your basic training like? I, I didn't have any trouble with it. Okay. Um, really? No. Did they have you sleeping in bunks or hammocks? Bunks. Bunks? We had bunks, yeah. Did you fire any weapons? Have any? Well, yeah, we went to firing range. Mm -hmm. uh, not, not only a couple of times. They were in a hurry to get us out. Yeah, I went in on uh, in in October, uh, early October, and uh, I was on my way to Florida, the right after Christmas, mm -hmm. for underwater demolition training. I didn't know that's what I was going for at the time, <coughs> and they didn't ask me. That's so well, they just told you that's what you were going to do? Yeah, well, I found out when I got there. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, what, where did you go for that training? Uh, Fort Pierce. All right, what was your training like? Oh, gee whiz. All, <clears throat> all different things, uh, you know. Blowing things out of the water. And, uh, I don't know how to explain it, really. Landings. You know, landings. We got some pictures of the landing. You know, like, you know, you've seen what Normandy mm -hmm. going in on the, what do they call them boats now? The LSTs? Yeah. No, not LSTs, LCDs. LCD. You know, <clears throat> the, the boat that takes the men in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take 25 to 30 in a, in a boat, mm -hmm. and they run in on shore and let you off and say bye bye. Mm -hmm. Did you do under any underwater diving at all? Did you have Not any training diving, in that? Per se, we blew stuff out of the water, yes, mm -hmm. but it was it was just on your own. So you went in in landing crafts and then set yes, the explosives and yes, we did. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you blew up obstacles that were in that the beach. That were in the, under, okay. underwater, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. How long was that training? About? Two, three days. That's all you trained? Seriously. <laughs> it huh? wasn't about longer than that. Boy, it was... They were in a hurry then. Yes, okay. All right, um, after you spent that time training, um, where did you go from there? Uh, to uh, Pearl Harbor, wasn't it? 
we went back to Virginia to catch a ship. Yeah, well, yeah, caught, yeah, we caught the ship in Virginia. That's that's where I went. Now, were you assigned to a team or? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. What What was your? Four five of us in the team. Mm -hmm. And uh, who was in charge of the team? What was the highest rank? Well, the team would be the highest rank would be. Team given a designation, a number, or a name, or yes, we had a number, probably in there someplace. I don't know. Do you, do you remember that? No. Okay. Yes, we had a number, mm -hmm. and uh, I can't remember it now. Now the ship you, you, you should have come, you know, twenty years ago. Program <laughs> <laughs> wasn't in, in the session twenty years ago. Um, you were assigned to the Frederick Funston? Yeah. Is that how you say it? Yeah. So you were on that ship for the, your whole time in the service? Yes, I was. Okay. Um, what kind of ship was that? Uh, Lanny. Oh, what they call it? Well, they were an a was it an APA? Or yeah, that's what it was. APA. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right. When you were on the ship, were you given other duties? Be oh, yeah. What duties were you assigned on the ship? Well, most anything, you know, but they weren't a certain thing. We, we weren't part of the ship's company, really. Mm -hmm. We were on the ship, but we were a, a segment of in our own. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you weren't assigned any specialized duties while you were on the ship? Oh, uh, yeah, duties, but... Uh, How about the guns? Huh? Guns. Yeah, I was. I was gunner's mate. Oh, okay, so you were assigned to a gun. <coughs> in charge of uh, two, three inches, one, five inches, and 12, uh, 20 millimeters. Okay. How many men were in a gun crew? Do you recall? Well, no, I don't really remember the number that were in the gun crew. But Each gun took so many men, and uh, mm -hmm. how they figured it, I don't know really. I probably did remember it then, but uh, mm -hmm. as I said here before, time goes by. Yeah. Now you um, served out in the Pacific and, and Saipan, Guam, and Leyte, Luzon, and Iwo Jima. Do you want to talk about any of those places that you were? Or? Yeah, I can talk about it. Okay. If I don't want to say something, I won't. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you want me to talk about it? Well, <laughs> you ask me questions, uh, eh? Uh, <laughs> Did you ever see any kamikazes at all, or? I don't remember seeing any. No. Uh huh. No. Now, with, for example, Saipan, um, were you on one of the early waves then? You must have gone in early to yeah, we did. blow up the um, obstacles. Yeah, okay. we were either the first or, first or third mm -hmm. waves. Mm -hmm. Now, when you went ashore, you were in the Navy, but what kind of uh, gear did you wear? Did you wear like Marine Corps or yep. did you wear denims or? No, Marine. You were like a Marine Corps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, and the more water they got on, the heavier they got. Mm -hmm. What kind of weapon did you carry ashore? Uh, carbine. Mm -hmm. That's what we carried. So if when you were went ashore on, on Saipan, for example, could you explain what you did when you hit the beach? Did you carry demolition charges with you, or were they... No, we didn't carry them with us. They were there. Mm -hmm. How they got there, I don't know. Okay, they so were they there. were packed in the landing craft. Yeah. And when you hit the beach, you took them took in them. with you? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, now, what would be some of the obstacles you would have blown up? 
that were oh, it was things that they they had put up underground or in the ground, and uh, that you had to get out of the water. Get, there was just enough water to cover them, mm -hmm. and uh, so you had to get them out of there. Yeah, so the landing craft didn't could you get in without up getting up. Mm -hmm. a hole in them. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize how hard it is to <laughs> Did you have to uh, blow up any caves or anything on shore? Did you ever go inland or did your job end no, just on no, the no. beach heads? Just on the beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never, never got any further than that. You know, until they, we'd, they'd taken the island or whatever, we could go then. Mm -hmm. but we were all pretty much restricted right to the beach. never knew how deep the water was going to be either. Oh. Were you a good swimmer? It had to be. <laughs> <laughs> it had to be. Well, we had some that weren't so good, but for the most part, I could hold my own swimming. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, of all the the landings, which do, would, you, would you say was the worst one that you had? Iwo Jima. Iwo Jima, why? It just, it, so many people were, well, I gotta hate to use the word, there were so many killed. Mm -hmm. It was just, it was unbelievable. So there was a lot of incoming fire as you were going ashore. Well, that was, just, you know, it was the Marines going in to take the island back. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many they had, but uh, they lost, uh, I forget, I think it was, I hadn't better say because I'd be lying if I did, and, uh, but uh, where did that picture, uh, that picture? There's some pictures Even right there. there. Now you mentioned when you were on the beach at Iwo Jima, you saw the flag? Oh yeah. Was it already up when you looked up and saw it? or? Yeah. Or? yeah. The first one. Mm-hmm. That was too small. Mm-hmm. So you saw the first flag? Yeah, I saw the first one and I saw the next one mm -hmm. too. Was it that letter you got me? Is huh? that the colored picture? Is that yeah. Color? It's behind you there, on top of the newspaper. All right, I can get it for you. camera he'd be able to focus on that. Turn it around just if you turn it around and hold it up. <laughs> uh, so you landed right in here? Yeah, you right said in the middle. In the middle? Just about in the middle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Go ahead. When you were when it, on the shore there, were you, did you hit any of the pillboxes or? If it, no. No, we no, were just we, the we underwater was, obstacles. Yeah. So even though the pillboxes may have been right on the the beach had you, we didn't you were see limited. Any of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. They did, the Japanese didn't go down on the beaches too much. Mm -hmm. They were more inland. Yeah, Iwo Jima, Iwo Jima, they let them come in. Now you mentioned that you were wounded. You were wounded at Saipan. No. Or that was your first combat. Oh, first, yeah. Mm-hmm. And how did it happen? 
Oh, does anything happen? <laughs> we were on the on the beach, and we were. Well, now, where were you wounded? What what beach? What? Guam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we and uh, we were unloading ammunition, and uh, we were lucky, uh, fortunate, or whatever you want to call it. But we, I actually heard the uh, rocket go by. It just, you know, go right, right past your head, and uh, just blew up ahead. But if somebody's shrapnel. Came back and got uh, four of us. I think so, yeah. Where were you hit? <coughs> Where was I hit? Yes, sir. My shoulders. Mm -hmm. This this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I went, they, they took us to the hospital. And I was in, it wouldn't hurt that bad. <coughs> Hospital ship for uh, what, five days. I think so. Five days. Then I went back to my own ship. Yep. So that wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. Mm -hmm. Now, what was daily life like on your ship? Oh, breakfast, dinner, and supper. But no, it was it was it was good. It, it really was. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people complained about you know the way they were treated and so on and so forth. And I can't say that I was treated bad at any time that I was in the service. Not once was I treated bad. Did you have movies aboard ship at all? Yep, but they were so old. They'd been around in a hundred years, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, they had them. Mm -hmm. but, you know, you don't have really have time to go to see them. You get about half through it, and then you got to go out and watch. Uh -huh. Go on duty, you know. So. And you better not miss that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Now, I was looking at some of your photographs. Could you tell us about this one? This looks pretty strange. Well, it is. That's crossing the equator. Could you hold that up to Wayne, please? You see it? Oops. Okay. Now, what happened yep. when you crossed the equator? We got initiated. Are you in that picture? Some please. I, huh. I'm not sure I'm in it. You got enough? Yep. Now this is your your card, correct, that you received? Yep. Yep. October 1944. Where's the other one? Here's the other one. Yeah. Now what, what's that, what is that one for? Crossing the... Uh, Imperial domain. Okay, the meridian. Yeah. So if you hold the two up, that Wayne can focus on them. They're in nice shape. Oops. These 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 were both received within a week or two of each other. So you cross the equator and then the, and then the prime meridian also. No, we, we, we crossed the meridian first. First, okay. And then the, then the okay. equator. Okay. I got okay. it. Yep. You want to tell us about some of these photographs? Take those back so you don't have to hold them on your lap. Oh, 
all this is just uh, what do they call them? I can't remember now what they called them, but they had we had uh, parties on the ship, like in USO shows and no, oh, no. they're just the no. entertainment. We didn't know what USO was. <laughs> no, this was all Navy men. Mm -hmm. This, but they were having them. Party, and this is a punk fighting contest. This one here is that's pie contest. And these boys are just trying to show how we used to dance, <laughs> and we weren't flaky either. <laughs> <laughs> You never got to see any USO shows. No. Okay. I don't. I don't think USO was, was that far along. Mm -hmm. Back that that far. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now is that a picture of you near the gun tub? Yeah. Which one is you? Neither one. Oh. <laughs> I took the picture. You took the picture. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's the uh, three-inch gun right there. Mm -hmm. If you could turn it toward the camera, well, you could focus on it a little bit. Okay, got it. And this, I don't know whether you saw this from here or not. Oh, and this was just the boys that had <coughs> uh, their food. Uh, horns. Mm -hmm. for the band. Band, yeah, mm -hmm. with them. Yeah. And then we had parties during the daytime. It's not at night. Never at night. Can you see it? Can you see the yep. arms? Yep, I, I got it. Yep. Now, who is, what group is that? Well, that's, that? That's our group, that, uh, our underwater demolition team. Mm -hmm. That's just part of it. Mm -hmm. This was the commander. He was, uh, what was his name? But anyway, he, he was uh, taught to blind out of Reed Braille over in Syracuse. His name was Kishman. Commander Kishman. Could you hold that up to, did you get it yet? No. Okay. So that's your, your demolition team? That's part of it. Part of it, okay. Yeah, see, there was 35 men. Mm-hmm. They're boys. No. Are you in that photo? Yep. Do you want to point to where you're at? I can't look at it. <laughs> Put your finger on it and then turn it around. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, oh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah, we were at 30, what was it, 35? 35 men, I think it was, boys. I shouldn't say men, you know. Most of us weren't dry behind the ears yet. Now you used to say this was a photograph of your ship? Yeah, in the, in the, <coughs> in the Manila, Manila Bay. This is after they, they had taken the, the island back. Mm -hmm. And the, we were in there anchored up to unload and whatever. Could you turn it toward the camera, please? So yeah. this is yours, is the, in the center right here? Yeah, that's all okay. Right. And those are landing craft around it, it looks like? No, not those. Those? No. Okay. No. Well, that one there might be, but that's mm -hmm. about all. Okay. But this is the island itself. Over here you can see. Mm -hmm. Could you turn it toward the camera again, please?
Now okay. you said uh, in, in the form that you filled out, you said you had a remember a, a kind of an amusing story about someone with a password being the month of the year. Oh yeah, jeez, <laughs> I can't remember what beach it was we were on. I think it was um, it was. I don't know, it was on some place over there anyway. But we'd hit the beach, you know, and you got to have a password. Well, anyway, the password was the month of the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and you, when you, when you, when they t told you to halt, you know, and give the password, why you had to stop and give the password and go on. Well, this one kid, he comes down. Well, we were all kids. I shouldn't say just one. We were we were on the beach, and and this was in Lady, and uh, they this one kid come down through there. He was scared death to death, and swore a lot of the rest of us too. He wasn't the only one. Anyway, he, and the password was the month of the year. You know, you 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 give them the password like January, and they bring back. February or March, you know, the, mm -hmm. to get through. Well, he came down through the beach there. He was running just as fast as he could go, and he says, "Look out! Here comes January, February, March, April." <laughs> <laughs> all those months he rattled off. <laughs> he just started all over again. <laughs> he got through though. <laughs> yeah. Now, what about these series of photographs? That's just receiving the purple heart. Mm -hmm. Well, if you could you hold that up, please. Now, what's your you're this gentleman here? I can't even tell who I am. Right here. Okay. There, anyway. Mm -hmm. So that's a series of you receiving your purple heart. Yep. Okay. Myself and three other two others got it. Mm -hmm. Now, are there any other uh, stories you want to tell us about, about your time in the Navy? <laughs> I don't You know, it's so long ago, it's hard to remember them. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, we, 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 of course, taking the training down in Florida was probably one of the, old, the hardest. They did they, they down there just because they wanted to look at me. <laughs> But on, on board a ship, we had a had a real good uh, captain. As a matter of fact, I, I tell you about him. His name was Captain. Uh, oh, <laughs> huh? Charlie Anderson. Yeah, I command uh, Captain Anderson. But anyway, he he had a son that was in the Marine Corps, and. Uh, his son uh, was was on Iwo Jima, yeah, and uh, he he got permission to come to the ship to see his father uh, and then go back. And uh, anyway, it got a little later than they thought it should be, and uh, the kid. Said, said that he didn't want to go back at night like that. It was too dangerous. And his dad said he had to go back. You know, he was a Marine and it was, it was his duty to go back. You know. Well, he went back and he got killed. Hmm. And uh, they kicked, brought him back to our ship. And uh, we, I shouldn't say, yeah, we did. Buried him at sea. Oh, that was quite an experience, that one was. Mm. Yeah. Especially when the, the captain and it's his own son, mm. you know. That's really got to hurt. Oh, dear John. Oh, dear John, I, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, anyway, we, we were coming into Pearl Harbor, and uh, they sent a boat out ahead to bring the mail in while we were coming in mm -hmm. so we could get mail. 
Oh, we got mail on there. Well, there were three of us. You know what a dear John letter is? Yes. Right? <laughs> there were three of us right together there. We all got the same letter. Not the same one, but <laughs> that, that, in fact, that's what it was. You know? Right. Yeah. And uh, I, I got mine. I didn't do much with it, but I didn't like it. But anyway, one guy, he, he got his, and I'll be darned if he didn't throw it overboard, and he went overboard too. Huh. He's going to drown himself. He said, he's all over with it. And then he hit the water. The water was cold. <laughs> he wanted to get back to board then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's some of the things like that. How about the swimming? Huh? Swimming, Samson. Huh? Swimming, it, Samson. I don't remember that. No. What was it? Something about swimming at, at Samson? Oh, at Samson? Yeah. I wasn't too bright. I could swim. And uh Yeah. And uh you know, so they we had to have our test. Mm hmm And this one kid he'd been there what well, was about six weeks and he couldn't swim yet. And they told him if he if he'd swim He'd get just as many days leave as he'd been there. And they've been, I guess, six, eight weeks when he, you know, he'd been there that long. When he'd get in the water about that deep and he'd just... <laughs> <laughs> he'd scared to death of it, you know. <coughs> and he thought, Jensen, you damn fool. <laughs> you could have been a, back home by now. <laughs> but anyway. Could you tell us about, hold these photographs up and tell us about those two photographs? Oh, these were taken down in uh, Washington at the uh, World War II mm -hmm. Memorial. Memorial. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could you hold those up to the camera then? So you went down there when it... We've been down there. Mm -hmm. Could you hold it up to the camera please? <coughs> What did you think of the uh, of that memorial? That's really something. Mm -hmm. yeah. When did you go see it? I, I can't remember. Oh, can I t take a look at that? I guess the date is on. I feel like somewhere. First one. <laughs> oh, I... It's on the front cover. It's the front cover. 2004. Mm -hmm. okay. Which one is that? <coughs> On the beach. Oh, he's in this photograph? Yeah. Oh. <coughs> this is in Life magazine. Where yeah. are you? Right there. Oh, okay. This is a photograph in Life magazine on Iwo Jima. Here he is. Here. Oh, wait a minute. I'm fading out here. Okay, where is he? Let me get the whole cover story. What issue is that? That's a new regime. July 10th, 1944. Okay. Okay. Um, when you... Uh, he was quite a guy. Nimitz, yes. When were you uh, discharged? April 46, we have on here. Um, did you uh, go, go to Japan at all as an occupying force or? No. Nope. Where did you go after Iwo Jima? Oh, I don't know. 
don't know if I can remember. We came back to the States for reef for refitting. Mm -hmm. you know, okay. It's a big push on Japan. Mm -hmm. was, how, did, how did you feel when you heard about the dropping the atomic bombs? We, we, we felt good. Mm -hmm. So you were getting ready for the invasion. In which life we were. They we already told us how many we were going to lose. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't too exciting. No. But Do you remember when you heard about the death of President Roosevelt? No, I don't. Okay. No, I don't. No. Um, what did you do between the end of the war and when you were discharged? Oh, I wasn't. I wasn't home very long before I was discharged. Oh, okay. They were putting them out, spitting them out as fast as they could. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They didn't want another paycheck. Mm -hmm. Did you uh, ever apply for the GI Bill? Yep. Did you ever use the GI Bill? What did you use it for? No, I didn't. Did he? <clears throat> Agricultural school. Yeah, that's right. School. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you ever take any loans out to buy land or a farm or anything? No, <coughs> not on the GI Bill. Mm -hmm. no. How about the 5220 Club? Did you ever use that? Yeah. You, you, you just brought back a memory. <laughs> I can't remember what the hell it was. It was uh, where you received $20 a week for 52 weeks. Yeah. Right after you got out if you didn't have a job? No, I didn't use that because I had a job. Okay. No. Did you ever join any... Uh, like the American Legion or oh, anything? Oh yeah, I'm going to the Legion. Mm -hmm. You've been a member ever since you left service? No, no, no. no. I waited a long time, too long. Mm -hmm. Did you, uh, are you active in it now or? Uh, for a senior citizen, yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we do work there, yeah. Now I understand you do some volunteer work at Samson. Yes. Do you want to tell us about that? Oh. <laughs> well, that's of course that's where I took my basic, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, after service, and it was really going downhill, and uh, so there were a group of us that got together, and uh, we took one section of it, and restored it to what it was when we were there. And uh, yep, what was it? Uh, what year was it? We started it. So anyway, it's been going 10, 12 years at least to that. And, uh, How long did it take you to do the restoration work? Heck, we ain't done yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, we are. We're, we're in good shape just to to show it, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of things that need to be done yet to to make it, and you'll never make it what it was. Mm -hmm. uh, so, we enjoy it. We have a lot of fun. Did you ever stay in contact with anyone that was in oh. service with you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, are any of the guys that uh, you're working with over at Samson someone that you were at Samson with or? Mm, yeah. I can't remember his name. <laughs> well, anyway, there was a couple of them. Mm -hmm. were... Now, you're also a tour guide there, too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You well, if you go over there and you wouldn't believe it. it's It's just a. They want me to take the magazine? It, it, it's, it's a mess. You know, we got it cleaned up in our area, right? It's nice. Huh? But it's nice there. Well, you you drive off from that into another section of it, and it's it's pitiful, from what I can remember. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. You know. Now we want to hold this up. <laughs> <laughs> Takes it literally, huh? Okay. <laughs> Now, when, do you remember when that photograph was taken? About? Uh, <coughs> no. Just, no. Okay. 
Now I know you, you have the purple heart in the middle. Where are the other ribbon or the other medals? Oh, well, this one is the uh, Pacific Theater. This is the Atlantic Theater. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are just the. And this is the, at the end of the war, the last one. Mm -hmm. And the, the stars here, they all represent a battle. Mm -hmm. Okay, battle stars. Battle okay. stars. Yeah. I think there's six or seven. Oh, I can't uh, focus in on that metal plate. What does that say? In his name. Okay. Gunner's mate, third class. Yep. Atlantic Theater, Pacific. The victory medal. Okay. So the purple heart there too? And the purple heart, yes. We mentioned that earlier. How do you think your time in the service had effect or changed your life in any way? I if anything you grew up. You know, yeah, when I went in I was uh, seventeen. Seventeen when I went in. And, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was 17. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it was, it was a different life, naturally. You know, that wasn't like milking cows. Mm -hmm. It was a heck of a lot different than milking cows. You got to know your left foot from your right foot, too. And a lot of things like that, you know. Um, but I guess the thing I remember the most was that about the swimming, as far as the beginning of training was concerned. The kid that couldn't swim, and and he was scared to death. You know, he 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 put put him in. They wouldn't put him in the water, but they tell him he he they told him one day that if you'll swim. We'll give you six weeks of liberty, just as much as you've been here. <clears throat> you know, and I thought, Jensen, you damn fool. Well, I've already told you that. But, uh, <laughs> and, and he could not. He'd get in the water just about up to his ankles. Did he enlist or was he drafted? He was drafted. Okay, I was going to say, I was wondering if he picked the Navy. That was not a good choice. No, <laughs> he was drafted. But anyway, and he, and he just stood there and, and shook. Uh, he, he just could not do it. Finally, they sent him home. Mm -hmm. Could you tell us about this? It's a picture. Yes, okay. <laughs> I would, that one looks like you were, it was taken at the end of the war. You have your ribbons on. Yeah, that was about the end of the war. Mm -hmm. Take it out in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Who made that display for you? My granddaughter. Oh, that's nice. Could yeah. you turn it and hold it up to the camera, please? Thank you. So the photograph was taken toward the end of the war then with the yeah. ribbons. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. All right, well, thank you very much for your interview. Yeah.